Welcome to Valley of Bowser 4, where we will do one of the most annoying secret exits you could possibly imagine first. You see in this one, and this is the one that I thought I was thinking of earlier back at Valley of Bowser 2, if I'm not mistaken, was the number was that you need a Yoshi and a cape would make things easier, but uh, a Yoshi is definitely an essential trait. And here's a Yoshi! Hello, Yoshi! Okay, now go down here. You could also use those blocks right there, but I'd recommend the other way. It's just faster. Okay, I'm just gonna scroll the screen ahead. If... Why can't I scroll the screen? Okay, I... Alright, let's just do it. <laughs> I just don't wanna... Well, those things. Yes. <clears throat> the charging chucks are a big, big problem in this one because of the rocks that they throw. Oh, a feather! Very nice, very nice. It is that they, the rocks are kind of random, random, so you can often lose your Yoshi. <laughs> and you do not want to lose your Yoshi because Yoshi is key to the secret air exit. And yet, Mario will also throw him down a hole to get to yet another secret exit. <laughs> You remember that one way back on uh, Cheese Bridge? Oh my goodness, that wouldn't have been pretty. Yeah. I'm just gonna float on ahead. Here it is. Yeah, okay, okay. Use Yoshi. Get the key. Yeah. Okay, the worst is over. This will take us to a star road, also to the front door of Bowser's Castle. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? And let's go to the Valley of Bowser 4 and do the regular exits. Do 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 Gotta love Yoshi's bouncy music, don't you? <clears throat> hey, I'm a big Yoshi fan, what can I say? <laughs> hey, yeah, I'll just get that. Woo! Almost took a hit there, actually. It came a little close to having some Koopa on my face. And go up here. And I bet you this is gonna give me a one up. Yes, it will, because Yoshi's down there and drop down. There we go. Woohoo! Um, there's a one up up there where that other yellow block was. But as I said, it's better to take the low path. It's, it's just easier, in my opinion. Because then you have to do kind of like a blind downward jump. Uh, maybe I should have got that feather, but whatever. <laughs> Oh, careful, careful, okay. <laughs> and go, 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 go. It's better, you're better off not actually jumping on the charging chucks heads, because that's when they start getting all crazy and, and then they start running after you. Oh, shoot. Not that their rocks are any better, but still, you get what I mean. Okay, that's the secret. Here's the regular. Woohoo! That's some super progress we're doing in this part. And the last part, actually. Let's go to Larry's place next. Oh, bonus game. Okay, we're going to the bonus game next. Woohoo! And looks like we're gonna get a flurry of flowers. Okay, and the star. And that sucked. <laughs> Mostly flowers and stars, but whatever. Woohoo! At least we got a one up. Wow, I, I have not paid attention to my lives. I have 65 lives. That is hilarious. I guess I'm not as bad as Mario as I once thought. Alright. Let's go. You know these. This block hell of a design is maybe a little... I mean, it's bigger, but it's far more annoying, though. Because you have to run back and forth sometimes on the platform. And the pathway to for these blocks is much, much more difficult. Uh, I like riding this one up here. It just seems safer to me instead of a uh, single block jumping up there. And going through here is very nice. Following the platform is awesome. And looks like there's a power up up there. I wonder if I can... Nah, I didn't think. Let's see if I can... Yes, I can. Awesome. I'm waiting for that thing to come around. Uh, there we go. <laughs> yeah, that's the point of going up here is to wait for that thing to go around. Um, I'm pretty sure you can leave this thing to go off screen and you'll uh, still be able to keep it. It's not like a regular like enemy or something or something that you need like a P-Switch or something, I don't know, that'll go off screen if you leave it. It's more like a Yoshi. Oh yeah, in case you didn't realize, I recommend waiting right here. Because it's coming up right here. Just like that. Because the downwards is death. <laughs> it's much, much more treacherous down there. And let's go on off to the right. I believe this is going to be a Kemek portion. Oh, yes it is. This won't be pretty. 
Yes, you can redirect where he shoots his magic if you jump as he's shooting it. Let's see if I can get through this hole here. No, I can't. Can I get a shot down here? No, come on, come on. No, let me through. Oh, come on, come on. I can go. Yeah, uh, uh, eh, that works, whatever. <laughs> Man, go. There we go. Uh, I'm not going to get that mushroom. Screw it. Way too risky right now. And where's Kemet going to be? Where is he going to be? I need a block. Killer and uh, that oh got a coin. Huh. Hold on a sec. Can I get a low? Yes, yes, yes. Thank you. Thank you very much. Kill him. I do not need Kemek anymore, so now I will rush through here. He is more of a hindrance right now than anything. And oh, by the way, his magic you can indeed jump on those magic magic blasts with a spin jump. All right, here's the last boss of the Ki Koopa Kids, and guess what? It's going to be an easy one. <laughs> you remember how to defeat that guy from the first world, right? Well, it's been enhanced by a bunch of potaboos, but it's still easy. That was Larry, and that is it for the Valley of Bowser, except for the main castle, but... We will not be doing that until the very, very end of the game. Yes, there is a lot more to this game. Wow, Mario is strong. <laughs> Mario has defeated Larry Koopa in Castle 7. All that is left is Bowser's Castle, where Princess Toadstool is being held. Can Mario rescue her and restore peace to the dinosaur land? They lie! There is more to this game than Bowser's Castle left. And I will be showing you... But I will be going way, way back to Donut Plains. Yes, I will be taking a walking route here. Because I would like to start the Star Road in the next part. I'm just going to go through this pipe. I think it's going to be a little quicker camera-wise. Oh, look at that. We're back at Bowser's. <laughs> and go here. And moving along. Yes, I'm going to uh, uh, Donut Plains Star Road. Because I'm going to be starting the... Uh, <clears throat> Hiccup, excuse me. <laughs> the star stages, or star road stages, whatever you want to call them. And, uh, I would like to start at number one first, and that is way back, and I mean way back, at the Donut Plains Warp Zone. So, uh, yeah, that's what I'm doing in this part. <laughs> We're going down. Oh, if you did not realize, you do not need to, uh, beat the game to get all 96 exits. Bowser's Castle is actually completely optional, if you didn't, if you can't believe that. And here's the Star Road we will be entering, and here it is, Star Road 1. For, uh, every one of these has two exits, in case you didn't realize from the red dots, but I will be starting these in the next part, so I'll see you guys then.